Okay. Here we go. Do we want to say a prayer before we start? Why not? I think we should. Or why? Why not? No, yes, why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I don't know. Some about being work like Catholic and we love God. That's right. Yeah. Welcome to the Catholic podcast. Will somebody want to say a prayer? Who wants to pray? Sure. You want to pray? In the name of the Father, <laughs> and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this time. We thank you for all those who listen to our podcast, and especially for those who don't. We pray and offer up all these things that we do them in your name and for your will. We thank you for our community here. Help us as we move forward through the pastoral plan. Give us guidance. Give us strength. In your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 I was going to say amen a couple times while you were praying. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, amen. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, I'm like, like, yep. Amen. That's the Baptist yes. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's I on the knew. other channel. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Exciting. So you heard in the prayer, a little bit of pastoral planning. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Yes. But I'm sorry. I hope nobody's mad. I'd like literally searched for the gospel passage and this is what popped up. I was like, okay, copy paste. Let's move on. Why would we be mad? <laughs> so, it's fantastic. well, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit of an icon. Jesus is wearing blue. He's I think he has the pastoral plan. Line. That's his, the pastoral plan in his, le his left yeah, hand. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. pastoral plan. Jesus. It, that's, what it says, that's what it says in Greek, right? <laughs> Absolutely, right. yeah. Yep, it's Greek to me. Pastorale planos. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll just read the read there. And they're all like, yes, which which churches will be ours? That, that, the I was apostles say, said. The desperation <laughs> in their faces on this page. It's like, no. Give me. <laughs> Please. Give me. Give me a cross to carry, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> well, it was a few weeks ago. Nick Nick taught us about the, the finger thing the the two down the three oh, up yeah. about the yeah there we go you know, whatever and he's doing that so, so there we go there look at that two nature so but good. jesus looks Divine tired <laughs> yeah <Does. laughs> he's like he has a look of do not yeah. argue with me right now yeah. yes i love it would you guys just be quiet and listen for a change please mm -hmm. yes <laughs> yeah, listen give me your people your hungry <laughs> your tired <laughs> masses yearning to uh break free here we go uh, so yeah so bulletin's mm. exciting our csa i did notice you know got a few more pledges going for that we're still looking for about thirty-two thousand dollars. so if you have that in your bank mm. account and you want to transfer to us we have a variety of ways to do that mm. so let us know and another shout out to all those who have given already mm. thus far amen awesome thank you god bless you we have yeah i mean we're we've collected quite a bit too we're, mm -hmm. we're doing great we're mm -hmm. right on track so that's super awesome we, we're up to 401 families we have approximately over 1100 families here um at saint jude's so i mean a 30 percent uh participation rate is is decent um so you know if you haven't participated or have never participated like let us know it's really simple you don't need to be rich to participate in the csa mm -hmm. so we're, we're happy to happy to help you and you know, make sure those funds are going to the ministries that we all support. So, mm -hmm. thank you. Schedule is exciting, Tim. Yeah, I mean, we, it's we're we're just excited to. I think a lot of people I've talked to are excited about bringing the cup back. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think just a, a quick disclaimer: um, if you receive <clears throat> um, the host, uh, you have received the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And so, if you're uncomfortable uh, going to the cup for any reason. Um, especially after the pandemic and all of that, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to, and you never had to before. Mm -hmm. I just had a conversation with someone about that the other day. So if you if you're if you don't want to, you don't have to. But a lot of people are super stoked about that. Mm -hmm. I am as well. Yeah. It's kind of a I think it's a really cool thing to show how we've you know come through something massive mm -hmm. in the church. Um, you know, we, we I guess in an official way, it's a it's a really cool official symbol of we've weathered the storm if you mm -hmm. will. So um, thank you all so much. For, we have, um, with bringing the cut back, uh, we have a lot of people who are working, or I shouldn't say working, I should say ministering at a lot of masses. So mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. uh, notice that, how there's the same people <laughs> you know, doing um, extraordinary Eucharistic ministering every mass, and you would like to volunteer, we could use more. That would be wonderful. Yeah. So please feel Amen. free to pray about that and sign yeah. up should the Holy Spirit lead you to do so. Right, and just go with the flow, because mm -hmm. I'll tell you, with Mass, it's um, going to be interesting. Yeah. Because I don't even know how this works. So, <laughs> the Holy we'll Spirit will lead us. It will work. And then everything else looks good, you know, usual stuff kind of happening there. Mm -hmm. All right. 
We've got the event calendar. Our new office hours are about to kick in uh, after Labor Day, but we have them, you know, basically up here. So it'll be a little confusing that first week because we have Labor Day, which is the office is closed that day. But usually that Monday through through Thursday open and then Friday the office is closed. Mm -hmm. So just a new cultural thing that will take place. Plus Sunday then. And this is this is different. I'm mm -hmm. excited about this. Mm -hmm. Someone else can chime in on how this is going to affect us as well. But being open on Sundays from 8 a.m. to 1230. And that doesn't just mean the staff is like around. It means like the office is open. So if you have something that you need to do or you want to come into the office to do, we're available for that. We're so. going to have coffee in there, I think, too. Cool. Mm -hmm. So if you need coffee before or after mass. Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't make us Protestant. It just means we like coffee. Well, so, um, yeah. <laughs> all of those, okay, all of those denominations <laughs> originated anyway. So mm -hmm. we coffee. can learn from each other. Well, out of the you know one church, all that. Oh yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is exciting though. And you know, someone said, well, you know, Father, that's terrible. You're making, you're working your staff to death. I said, well, we are taking Fridays off. So mm -hmm. our new weekend for us is kind of a Friday Saturday thing for the most part. Yeah. So just to be mindful of that, mm -hmm. um, and we're only working a little bit on Sunday mornings, yeah. mm -hmm. so we can still yeah. worship with our families. Yep. And do all that. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. but we want to be here when you're here. That's part of our amazing yeah. parish model: yeah. is to be here on the most important day of the week. Absolutely, yeah. To so. serve, right? Mm -hmm. It only makes sense to serve when everybody's here worshiping. And mm -hmm. you know, our offices. We're also trying to bring in an opportunity for to create some space over here to meet with us too. So, so we'll be we'll be looking at that as we move forward. So, yeah, don't be afraid to come over and say hi and let us know how we can yeah. how we can serve you. Mm -hmm. I just have to make a comment. I love these photos from that uh, that color dance. Uh, I'm assuming that's what it was from. As yeah. Yes. Like, oh my gosh, those boys. That's from Sunday Mass. Good old mask. Oh, Tim and Father. Yeah. Yeah. Having a good time from the color mass, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I should do one. Yeah. yeah. That would be it. Like, yeah. Just like every time you mention the name of Jesus, you throw throw the, the throw yeah, the chalk in the air when we do our eclipse. Mass. That's right. That'd be kind of neat. We could add that to the mix. That could what be date fun. is that? What's the eclipse? When is that coming? April or something. April or something. Sometime. Yeah. But I this is a remember. full moon, by the way. We are recording this on a full moon. If you, I saw it late last night, and again, it's kind of awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I was. I saw so it last night too. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It's that super it moon huge. or whatever. Yeah. 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 Love so. it. It's like the one in Vegas. Mm. It is. It's like that. <laughs> we're gonna yes, the, the, the orb. <laughs> but with our school and uh, like the 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 pictures are fun, and it was mm -hmm. a great event. It, uh, everyone was just having good fun. Like it was really cool to see and and all that sort of thing. Who, uh, who got to be the one to throw out all the color? Oh, everybody. Everybody. There was all yeah. little packets. Mm -hmm. You throw them all out and stuff. Nice. And it's like cornstarch. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it takes, like, I, I'm pretty sure I still, like, in my, my hair, there's still some in there. So hopefully people are like, wow, Tim's going crazy. But uh, also just welcome. Um, I know it's it's over at the school, but welcome mm -hmm. to some new faculty. Um, you know, Mrs. Sarah Pretzel, Mrs. Kristen Rash, and Mr. Corey. Is it Ferraro mm -hmm. or Ferrero? Ferraro. Mm -hmm. Ferraro. Okay. Ferraro um, Roche. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> uh, so one of the neat things that I'm excited about, and, and Father has made a, an, a a big point of this, is um, all of us uh, going to the student mass and spending a little bit more time mm -hmm. in the school, building mm -hmm. relationships. So um, we're excited to to welcome the teachers as well to the community. So that's exciting. Yeah, we're heading over there after this podcast for some lunch. Nothing like first day of school lunch. Mm, probably pizza. <laughs> yes, chicken nuggets. The, 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 chicken the, nuggets. These three people are amazing too. That's that's what's oh, really yeah. cool. Uh, Sarah was a youth minister for many years here in the diocese. Kristen helps us here with our children's liturgy and the yep. great, very She's devout great. family. Mm -hmm. And Corey's been teaching religion. I mean, he is, he's, he's awesome. So yeah. Yeah. he's going to be teaching here in a blessed sacrament for us. So we're very blessed. That's, that's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Our school is really fortunate to have all of them, all mm -hmm. of us, so a lot of things going on. On the parish festival, um, we're asking for um, donations. We really need, um, uh, if you have new things you want to donate, you want to re-gift something, um, or um, we're, we're looking for donations of money. We're going to do a nice spread of baskets for our pasta dinner this year. So uh, we have a whole committee for that. They're they're out there uh, hitting the streets. And, uh, and we're, we're going to do our treasure chest too, right? Yeah, so some yeah, bigger prizes chest, as well. Yeah. So baskets and... Yeah. yeah. So uh, please, if you can help out with that, that's, that's a that's that's definitely, definitely yeah. we won't, that's always a highlight of the pasta dinner. So people enjoy the basket. So thank you. Because the pasta is not the highlight of the pasta I was going to say, I, I was like, I enjoy the pasta too. It's very good. I don't know. I is wanted the, the TV last night. Shout so, out right now, I guess, to volunteers. You right. know, if uh, any of any of you youth, you need service hours or anything, please sign up with us. You can we'll you be know, around. Absolutely Even if you talk don't to us. need service hours, you just want some good laughs and to serve right. people. 
Which is why you do service hours is to learn to serve people. So come, <laughs> come. We make it fun too. We're always running around doing, having a good time. That was yeah. the. This is the first event uh, for me when I came to St. Jude's last year that I that I got to really be a oh, part a of. Time. I met I met That's a ton cool. of people. It was wonderful. So come. That's cool. We are having a funeral this week. We had a baptism on Sunday. A lot of great things happening. So mm -hmm. we remember all of those in our prayers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's convenient when you have one out, one in. We'd like to see more people coming into the church, so yes. keep working on that. Mm -hmm. And so speaking of bringing people into the church, we had our pastoral planning meeting last night with the bishop. Mm -hmm. um, I put a little letter, a little a little column in here about that, the proposed plan that directly affects us here at St. Jude's. Every pastoral plan in the diocese, every parish, every priest uh, matters to to the overall the overall picture so for us the proposed plan is that saint andrew parish erie would merge into saint jude parish erie they love to add the word erie so saint andrew would become a secondary church of saint jude parish that is the proposed preliminary plan for the pastoral plan so i put that in the bulletin exactly that and then i wrote a, a little article to all of our parishioners here in saint saint andrew and, and beyond so kind of just going over the, the whole history there and how we came from St. Andrews. We were born out of them, mm -hmm. out of their out of their desire and growth in this area. So just kind of a beautiful way for us to remember where we came from and to celebrate that um, as part of this plan. I do think this pastoral plan, um, I think this is a great way to move, for us to move mm -hmm. together and to move forward in Christ and remember that our mission is to save souls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not here to save buildings. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> so, even just where it came, like you were saying, we came out, we came out of them and I think what's even, um, you included it too, just, just the thought that where we're sitting right now, you know, doing the podcast where we have mass every week, this, this holy place uh, was a horse, where a horse barn was. Yeah. So it's just like, like you never know what, what God could do with something. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's a beautiful opportunity to trust him and, uh, and, and follow where he leads. So right. I'm excited. But yeah, it's like, this was a, right. that's crazy to think about. That's <laughs> exciting. Me. It really is. <laughs> And it's always good to know that some of our neighboring parishes were cow farms. So um, I'm we're not a saying horse farm. Yeah. I'm not saying we're better than them, yeah. but, yeah. but and, we, and just to tag onto that, yeah. like let's continue to play, to play, to pray yeah, for play the pray. Uh, pastoral plan. You know that all hearts are open mm -hmm. uh, to the transition and what might be best for for genuinely the the, the parishes, the community, the the worshiping body. You know, right. Um, because it's, it's necessary and what's better than uniting the body of Christ. So like you said, Father, this is just... We're kind of all over. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the whole the whole county and then some um, is affected by this. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. a lot of people hold deep emotional connections and memories. But if you've ever moved in your life from one house to another, mm -hmm. you know, you cherish the memories from mm -hmm. your old home, um, but you know you can make new ones in your new home. So... You know, that's what we're all about. Let's make new memories and let's celebrate uh, the future generations that will be able to learn the faith from here. So, and that's thanks Diana's to our producer, oh, Diana, Diana, who is always encouraging. She, she, she's yeah. up there. She has her sign saying, keep smiling, be positive. So, Absolutely. So that's what we're all about turn here. Turn the page. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah literally turn, turn the page. page. <laughs> Very good. Sure. If you want more information, last week yeah, we talked a little. Yeah, nothing new here. So, yeah. Well, hold on a second. Yeah, okay, last, I was just going to say, last week we, we talked a lot about uh, uh, transubstantiation. Oh, yeah. um, there were there were questions about the real presence. I'm not going to read it. We don't. It's that's from the USCCB. So the basic teaching of what the real presence is after transubstantiation mm -hmm. with the Eucharist is in the bulletin. If you're interested in that, so check that out. Cool. Hello. We are a Eucharistic community. Boom. Right. Revi reviving yes. ourselves. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank Revival. you, Pope. Thank you, Pope Francis, for mm -hmm. calling us well, to this. We have Beautiful. adoration this and Sunday. Yes, if you adoration. Want to come. Yeah. From six to six thirty. So please mm -hmm. join us. Come on over. Yeah. Um, we talked about this last week as well, music ministries kicking off, so please talk to them if you're interested in participating in that. Um, and also the College Care Package Program, mm -hmm. um, should you uh, desire to support that awesome ministry, yep. please contact Sarah. Which Sarah yeah, did, she popped on last week and mm -hmm. shared about that uh, program, and it is it's just a beautiful opportunity to support those uh, in faith while they're at college. And we were just talking about like how we're a community, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what's neat is it's like, like it, it's a great way to like Sarah talked about this last time, but it's a great way to like keep that connection because mm -hmm. when they come yeah. back, uh, they feel much more at home. So yeah. please f uh, consider uh, donating to that that worthy cause. Yeah. Speaking of faith formation, 
Yeah, we have, you know, just another letter. <laughs> yep. Um, just again, kind of each week here, you know, again, okay, there's these big pastoral plans, but kind of on our, our little pastoral plan here is to really get our families back, back into the faith. Mm. And it's a family initiative. It's a family project. So mm-hmm. we cannot just drop our kids off and leave <laughs> as families. That's not how this works. So we're really inviting our families, our parents, and the whole parish then to be aware and to encourage and participate as much as they can too. So, mm-hmm. so you'll see that that's why uh, we'll be doing all this stuff for the parents mm-hmm. as well. So mm-hmm. it's going to be great. We're just trying to get everybody back into church, back into a community, uh, you know, back into right relationship. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. That was a great way to end it right there. I mean, last page has a ton of cool Chuck stuff Kevin. on it. So check out all of those those things. I do love that St. Stan's is having a taste of Poland dinner. I'm like, we literally just finished Zambava. And I'm like, no good. (laughs) They were out of pierogies. They were out of pierogies. Um, um, We have to have another one. We have to have a public service announcement to the parishioners of Holy Trinity and their beloved pastor. They ran out of pierogies. Hot dogs and french fries. Now, I know we were late. We came Sunday after church. But here's the deal, people. You know? (laughs) We need pierogies. It's what you do. So, I mean, I'm a little concerned. You just didn't start early enough or you didn't make enough, but... Um, we don't judge, but... Miss, Mrs. T doesn't just... She doesn't do it for me anymore. So we really need some homemade pierogies. And if you can't supply them, then we will look elsewhere. So, just so you know, maybe St. Stan's will have what we need because I see pierogi on their list. There you go. So, yes. Zabogam, I learned how to say God bless you in Polish. Is that how you say it? Zabogum. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Feel free to correct me uh, by commenting (laughs) on our After you follow and subscribe. Yes. Uh, Thank you so much. God bless. Zabogum.